Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking ahead to EAFC 24 and specifically the market. Today we're going to look at three huge changes coming to the ultimate team market and how it's going to impact the way we trade and invest on EAFC forever. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Before we get into anything, we have to answer this simple question. Is there going to be a market in EAFC 24? There were rumors a long time ago that cards would no longer be on the market. They would all be untradeable and the market would cease to exist. But but those rumors have been squashed. They are 100% false. And guys, I can assure you, there is a market on EAFC 24. So with that confirmed, let's move into the number one biggest change coming to the EAFC 24 Ultimate Team market. And it is this right here. Foot Sheriff, a couple of days back, tweeted about this massive change to players in packs. He said, we will be able to pack more than one version of the same player in a single pack basically what that means guys is we are going to be able to pack the gold versions the team of the week versions or the promo card versions of a single player at the exact same time like this pack shows there's three different versions of erling holland and here this off the bat makes me think right away that one of the most popular trading methods of fifa ultimate teams of old that worked year round and that was literally used every single week in this game is no longer going to work, right? Because it was all based on investing in cards that go out of packs. And with this change, that is no longer going to happen, right? This is a massive change, guys, because what it means is at the same time that Holland maybe has a team of the weak card in packs, you're going to be able to pack his gold card at the same time. Whereas in previous years, a lot of people would go invest in that gold version of the card for early team of the week cards because they would go out of packs. They would have less supply, but still have demand and their prices would go up on the market, right? Let's take a look at an example of last year at the beginning of FIFA 23, how this happened, right? Marquinhos was in team of the week too so towards the beginning of the game when cards are still really rare and a lot of people are still building up their coins and we see prices rising a lot anyway people were investing in this marquinhos because they figured he was getting a team of the week he went from 50 ,000 to 60 ,000 coins all the way to 75 ,000 coins on that wednesday when his team of the week came in packs so his gold card went out of packs he went all the way to 90 ,000 coins and then started dropping off when the gold card came back into packs so a really really good investment there that is no longer going to happen in EAFC 24 because at the same time as his inform would be in packs this year in the game, his gold card would be in packs as well. So honestly, GG's to EA. You're taking away one of the biggest trading methods that people used year round in this game. They use it every single week with informs that come into packs or promo cards, right? And even if you think about it, like on some of your gold commons and your silvers, um, people invest in these sorts of cards because it's a really, it was a really good trading method for all budgets. You could invest in, let's say, uh, ben Mee was getting an inform, right? English center backs were always needed for certain types of SBCs, and he would go up exponentially in value if he wasn't getting supplied in packs and a new version or of an inform or something was in packs instead. But at this time, in EAFC 24, it looks like all of those cards will be in packs at the same time, which is crazy. It's also going to make packs very interesting if you can pack a gold version and a promo version at the same time in the pack like that. This is really gonna change the card supply on the market. It's gonna be a huge, huge, huge change. But of course, right away we think about EA taking away one of those popular trading methods. Now, you might be thinking, Nate, is it gonna be a lot harder to make coins this year um, with this with this being the case? And honestly, it's, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult I guess at some stages of the year and it's going to take away that one trading method but guys we'll still be able to make millions this year there are so many other trading methods that are out there we're just going to have to learn and adapt to this new market we had to learn and adapt in the previous FIFAs as they changed different things about chemistry styles and position changes and how we traded with those in the past it's going to be the same way this year we're going to have to adapt and change but seriously that is a massive massive thing that is changing for the market in EAFC 24. Massive change number two to EAFC 24 in terms of the market is position modifiers guys last year was the first year we had the actual position modifier card that worked for all different positions and it was the removal of the striker to center forward or the center attacking mid to center forward right those position change cards that were position specific these had a very short stay in ultimate team because they're going away in fc 24 as well they will no longer need a card to change the position of a player in our team right all we will have to do is simply go into our squad click on the player's position and change it to one of their preferred or 
alternative positions on that card without using a chemistry style. Definitely a W for the quality of life and ease of life and enjoyment of the menus and squad building on this game, but it also is going to change position trading, right? We used to tra uh, trade all the time with cards that you can move into different positions. I remember last year at the beginning of the year trading with Anthony's gold card or like Sancho's gold card because even the right mid to right wing, but usually it's cards that have a bigger change in position. I think Sanjo can play on the left and the right on his gold card. Is that true? Yes, he can play left mid, left wing, and right wing. So I would buy Sancho with his base position of left wing, but then I would go ahead and look him up on the market with a position of right wing, and he would usually sell for a few more thousand coins just because that card, uh, people would just go and buy it. As you can see here, there's one for 3.9K, and the next cheapest one is 5.2K. In the beginning stages of FIFA, that was a trading method that I used a ton. But really, that's not going to work as well in FC24 because those cards are out of the game. And it's not, there's no like paywall or there's no extra amount that you have to pay to change the position of a card. Since you can just change it, that trading method is probably going to be going away as well. And that's also some pack filler that's going to be removed from packs. What is EA going to replace in packs instead of those cards? We'll talk about that in a little bit. But just a quick conversation. We just mentioned two things that is going to make trading harder in EAFC 24. Let's be real, guys. EA wants to make it harder for us to trade and to make coins, right? But that's just how they run their game because that's how they make more money. Think about it from their standpoint. They make it harder for us to trade and make coins. They make more money from people buying FC points, buying store packs, and stuff like that. But don't let that get you down, all right? Don't let that get you down because we are still going to be able to make tons of coins in the early stages of the game using the same methods that we use every single year, investing in meta players, flipping cards, and guys, you think SBCs are going away? Fodder is still going to be the number one easiest way to make coins this year in FC24, 1,000 percent so don't let that get you down but there are going to be some changes to how we make coins this year in eafc 24 for sure now for the third big change in the eafc 24 market we're talking about women's cards in ultimate team and specifically their cards being added in two packs we still have a lot to learn and we're unsure about how women and ultimate team will affect this game but specifically from a pack standpoint and from a market standpoint there's going to be some big changes this year just because they're adding so many players to packs with the women's teams and clubs coming into the game guys ea said 1600 plus player items are going to be added there are now 19,000 players 700 clubs and 30 plus leagues represented by players in packs in the ultimate team this is going to be crazy i'm honestly wondering if ea are going to make packs more towards players in packs and remove a lot more of the consumables that have been in packs right they're getting rid of position modifiers in the past few years they've gotten rid of fitness and they've gotten rid of like you know the the squad formation cards a long time ago where you, you had those in packs as well it's just now more and more about packing players which is not bad in a sense but it's going to change the way especially for fodder with how many players are on the market, it's going to change the way that prices move. Now, think about it, right? Not all women's cards are going to be fodder, but a lot of the men's cards that we already have in the game are fodder. Think about it. We're chasing after the Mbappes, the Messis, the Ronaldos, the Erling Hollands, right? Those are the most meta overpowered, higher rated cards that get used in game. A lot of these cards, besides from the first week or two on the game, don't get used that much, and they ended up getting turned into SBCs throughout the rest of the year. That's probably how it's going to be with a lot of the women's cards as well, because as EA have worded it, both men's and women's footballers will be available together in the pool of players in packs. It just sounds like, again, like we talked about, the women and the men are going to be pretty equal in terms of ratings, in terms of how they're in the game, in terms of stats and stuff like that. So that also is going to mean that they're going to be in SBCs, required for SBCs, just like the men's cards are. And I think that's where I'm thinking about this the most with fodder, guys, because think about it. If EA are adding in 1,600 plus women into Ultimate Team, and they're adding in some of the leagues, like from the Barclay Women's Super League, the Bundesliga, Google Pixel Front Bundesliga, the Women's Bundesliga League, it's going to impact a lot of these fodder cards. And here's what I mean by that. Right now, if you take a look at French Gold Common Right Mids on the market right now in FIFA 23. I believe all of these are selling for inflated prices because of a couple of the SBCs that we have out right now. Think about it. In this year's FIFA, 
let's say if English center backs were up in price, guys like Chris Smalling, uh, guys like Eric Dyer were up in value or like these French right mids are right now, adding more of those cards into packs is just going to bring more supply and more honestly options to trade with those types of fodder players when SBCs come out and require them. And that's going to actually, in my opinion, open up more trading opportunities. So if you learn what women's players, the nations, the positions, the leagues, those are going to become very important, especially early on in the game for marquee matchups, for the starter SBCs under the foundations tab, right? You've got foundations, you've got the league and nation hybrid, hybrid leagues, hybrid nations, and all these SBCs that we do at the start of the year, every single year in Ultimate Team, knowing those new players in their nation specific uh, positions and leagues and stuff like that, it's going to impact the fodder market a lot. And as we said, uh, the solutions trading, that's that's really what that's called. Solutions trading with the golds and with the silvers. That's where I'm really interested to see how the female players being added to the player pool with the men are going to impact prices a little bit, supply, and just once again, how EA are going to just kind of format packs on this game because so many players are now going to be in packs than ever before. I would have to imagine that they're going to have to change the size of packs and change maybe even some of the names and how packs have been distributed before. Like, remember, we have a mega pack. There's like a daily upgrade pack right now for the mega pack, right? Um, will a mega pack in FC24 not have 30 or 35 items, whatever is inside of a mega pack? Will it have less now because they're trying to, you know, limit the number of players that are on the market so that prices don't get super duper low, super fast, and that players don't get crazy supplied right away from the beginning since there's going to be more players in ultimate team or uh, are they going to have to change anything with that at all i'm really not too sure i'm sure they're running through a lot of tests but those all those extra cards being on the market is really going to impact the market a lot this year so just an overview once again both versions of cards golds informs promo cards all of those being able to be in packs at the same time this is pretty crazy that's the biggest change in my opinion change number two is Position modifier cards, they're no longer out, which means less fodder impacts and maybe less ways to trade a little bit with those, but also way less annoying when you're trying to change positions. And then third and final change for the market is women being an ultimate team and all of those cards being on the market in terms of fodder, like a lot of the men's cards are in terms of SBCs and trading. So there's a lot more that we have to learn, guys. Of course, EA have said themselves that there is more news coming in August about ultimate team and we'll probably get some more information then. But for right now, I really wanted to bring you guys this information today and talk about it just just to get you thinking, just to get the mind moving and turning because FC24 is not that far away. And guys, the market is going to have some big changes for this upcoming year. But we're going to stay on top of it and cover all the information and learn as we go. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's Nate the Foot Accountant. So catch you guys later. Peace out.